Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of It's About Time. Tonight we are actually doing another unboxing episode for you guys. Uh, my partner in crime, Jared, is not with us tonight. He doesn't even know about this episode because I just ordered another watch. Um, one from my wish list, 2018. I think my resolution is to just get every watch on my wish list and try them out. And the ones that I do like, I'll keep, and the ones that I don't like, I'll just send back, as you saw with the JLC uh, Reverso, that didn't end up working out because it was engraved. So, this one is brand new. Uh, it comes from Amazon, of all places. I got it for $13.99. Its retail value is around $3,100. And if you're wondering about the brand, it's actually a brand we haven't discussed on the show before only one episode, which was the Glow in the Dark episode. And so, yes, this will feature a little Glow in the Dark itself. And that brand is Ball. It's spelled B-A-L-L, -L, just as you would think. So, this is truly an unboxing episode, as I'm seeing it for the first time along with you guys. It just came in UPS ground. And let's take a look at this sucker and find out what we got here. And it comes in your standard out whiter case, which is really a throwaway item if you're going to keep it. Okay, over here you got your presentation box in green with the ball logo as well over here. Ball tends to go uh, with a pocket presentation which is pretty cool, a little different than uh, most other brands. We open this up and we see that this is actually hmm, very interesting. It's a CD-ROM, uh, CD slash DVD ROM to explain your watch as well, which is very interesting in all different languages. Uh, it's also your registration, so that is unique, first time I've seen that. And now let's take a look at the watch itself. So here is your pocket design I was talking about. This slides right out here, and here you go. And this is a beauty. Okay, now what I got was the Day Date World Timer 24 Hour uh, watch from Ball. It does have a black face and an engraved face inside of there. You can see this watch. All the new watches that you can see, you can see they come with the tags, that is standard, and they do come uh, with your plastic as well that you have to take off the band. Ball is known for a couple things. Ball, the watch company itself, a little history on them, um, around since the 1800s, known for their railroad watches, especially their pocket watches. Um, when trains used to come in the 1800s into the station, the only way of keeping time was through the pocket watch, and they were one of the forefront leaders in doing so. Uh, so I do like Ball because uh, it does bring back a little, especially American history, if not history in general. They are Swiss made, uh, Swiss made brand. Uh, you don't see them too often, but they do have a couple of very, very unique designs. Some of their other pieces, um, they test your pulse. Uh, there's one now that does test the, the, that shows the temperature in Celsius, uh, Celsius meter. So they, they do have a lot of different stuff uh, that you wouldn't find in you know, typical watch brands. So they are out of the box in that area. Getting back to this piece though, uh, let's take a look at this piece. It does, it is 41 millimeters, uh, a, a um, watch size I do like, it fits my wrist very well. It does have an exhibition case back. It does have the railroad links, which are unique to law. And if you look at the links, you can see uh, the two center links going down like a railroad track and they interlock and they aren't hard to remove either. As I've had tested a ball previously in the past, the pulse meter, and that was very easy to size on the wrist. Um, let's just take a look at the watch from a different angle so I can show you over here. And let's see if we can get this sucker out and test it out over here as we take out the crown. We pull it out once. That will set your day and your date. So right now I am setting the actual date on it. If I go the other way, it will set your day. 
Okay, so there's your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday going that way. If I do pull it out once more, what's really seems to be unique here, take a look at the inner bezel. Okay, if you see the inner bezel, it is changing the hours. Okay, because it is a 24 hour set clock. So you would say to yourself, well, how do you stop it? You just go the other way. Okay, and you can set the time that you want to match it up with the 24 hour clock, which is really cool because the white indicates the day and the black, of course, uh, indicates the night hours, which is really unique uh, on how they did that. And it's also a world timer as well, so you get that feature with it as well. Uh, it is of stainless steel, so that is typical uh, for ball. They usually don't use any other materials outside of a steel or a leather band. Um, it is 5 ATM, which is 50 meters, so you shouldn't have any problem with that, especially with a screw down crown. It is a 38 hour power reserve, which is about a day and a half, which is about standard for Swiss watches. And the main thing that Ball is known for is, like we said in the Glow in the Dark episode that Jared and I did uh, last season, is their tritium tubes. So the theory is, if you put your flashlight on the tritium tube, okay, it's a different way, instead of um, illumination through um, your regular uh, hands that glow in the dark, they do it through tritium tubes, which are gas tubes that light up when it's fueled towards light. So we're going to put our flashlight on right now, and I'm going to charge this up and see how well this lights up in the dark for you guys. So you can actually see exactly how good these tritium tubes will be. Now on this watch, uh, from what I was reading, there should be 19 tritium tubes, so you should get a pretty good illumination on this watch when we turn the lights out. So now that it seems to be charged up, let's give it a go and see how well it does illuminate. All right. And obviously, This is not exactly a watch that will glow in the dark. That's the one thing I just realized. Um, because either it needs to be lit up a lot more, because I rarely saw anything there. So that's not a good first impression uh, of this piece. Um, it's something I do have to look into. Uh, what I am going to do, it's Friday night right now. Jared and I usually do uh, episodes on Tuesdays. So what I'm going to end up doing here is testing this watch out throughout the weekend into Tuesday and I'm gonna let you know Tuesday night on our next episode whether I decide to keep or let go of this watch uh, and return it as well like I did with the JLC Reverso. So um, stay tuned guys uh, as I try to get this thing <laughs> try to get the illumination working on this thing because right now I don't see much if any at all which is quite a shocker uh, because they're known for their gas tritium tubes and right now I'm not seeing much if anything at all so it's not off to a great start uh, presentation wise but I'll look into that more and give you a full detailed report in the meantime if you have any other questions for us um, outside of the limited test I was able to run right now with this open watch box episode please drop us an email or a response on any one of these episodes on YouTube and we'll be able to answer those questions so you can either get a good bargain or you can avoid a trap um, that Jared and I have both fallen into in the past for certain types of watches that we've bought. And we'll let you know a good or bad review on each piece. Okay, so anyway, again, this is the Ball Day Date World Timer 24 Hour Watch. And we will have the rest of the review for you uh, on our next episode of... It's about time.